All right, welcome back. We are diving into the lady from Germany that said that black women are no competition for her when she met her man. She said she didn't have any competition. Let's I'm gonna, let's check it out real quick. Let's see the small snippet what she said first, and I'll get into it. You the moment I stepped into that man's life. He really didn't know how to deal my femininity because I was not loud. I was not screaming. I was not trying to, you know, be louder than him. I didn't interrupt him because that's not something that I learned from home. If somebody would speak, and especially a man, you would let that man speak and then you would listen and then say whatever you have to say. Okay, so this is a lot of feedback to Kim that came with it. Let's check it out. This is German woman on TikTok, and she is grandstanding on the fact that she has done all of these things for her black man because... Well, black woman can never. See, I like people to like me because they like me, not because they hate somebody else. But that's just me. Either way, good for you, sis. Because there was simply no competition out there for me. But let's just look hmm. at it objectively. You had this average black American guy who now was able to choose between what he was dealing with before and somebody completely new. And let me tell you, the moment I stepped into that man's life, he really didn't know how to deal my femininity because I and let's be real ladies you know a lot of times y'all don't be like an average women being y'all say that they too short y'all be saying they're not attractive enough you don't make enough money i mean i'm just saying i don't know if y'all mad because she's from germany or if you're mad because i mean that is what y'all be saying though that's all i'm saying I was not loud. I was not screaming. I was not trying to, you know, be louder than him. I didn't interrupt him because that's not something that I learned from home. If somebody would speak, and especially a man, you would let that man speak and then you would listen and then say whatever you have to say, right? So I was clean. I cooked. He didn't know what it was when a woman is actually in the room asking him, like, do you want something to drink before I got myself something to drink? Do you want something to eat? Before I started to eat my food, I would ask him, do you want to have a bite? I would come out of nowhere and just have a, a fruit bowl and just offer him some fruit. He didn't know none of this. So my husband back then, boyfriend, really thought this was a dream come true. He didn't know how to deal with none of this because all this me coming through, just being nurturing by nature, his peoples and his family didn't even do that for him. You know, like the family, there is no family unit. The average family, especially black American family has barely a family unit. You know, there is no breakfast, lunch and dinner at set times. And these are things that I introduced my husband to with my family. Can you imagine that impact that I had on him back then? And y'all got to remember, this is her own situation. And this might be her husband. This might be really his story. He, he might really didn't have this he might then have this this family that that served him breakfast and lunch and dinner i mean so i mean i don't know like if this is really his story this is his story i mean i know tons of people that go through this right now so gentlemen do not be afraid of traveling there are so many more women out there who are willing to take care of you it doesn't matter if they're young it doesn't matter if they're older they are willing to take care of you, willing to work with you, willing to be a part of your life. You don't have to deal with whatever you are dealing with back in your hometown because unfortunately, a lot of American women are lost in the delusional world that they are living in and they don't even understand that they are going to be lonely for a long time, if not for the rest of their life. They say by choice, but I don't believe that. Understand and you know what's crazy is that a lot of matchmakers, if y'all do remember, a lot of matchmakers, they stop matching, uh, trying to matchmake a lot of black women because they're so picky. This is one right here. She's talking about how when she was when she's trying to be a matchmaker, she's saying it's so hard because black women are so picky. This is what's going on. Don't beat me up. I'm just talking about it. All I'm saying is when you look around, you look at dating shows and everything, what they always say, a girl can be five foot, five feet, and a man can be five, nine, and she'll be like, oh, he's too short. Okay, look, listen to this. This is from Matchmaker. That for a man to be over six, two is less than 3% of the population. And we're talking all men around the world, less than 3%. Money, right? So there you go. And, and think about this. 
it is. It's like only 3% of the men in the world are, are six feet and up. And that's what most of the population of the women want. So this is where it comes in where they say that women are getting delusional. Even when it comes to six figures, you want them to make six figures. I mean, how many men really make six figures? And then we have a lot of different women pushing all this different agendas about how you need to get a man with money, how you need this. But look at our surroundings. Look at what we're going through. Look, there's more baby showers than there are marriages. Think about, I mean, I don't know. We can't be oblivious to this. I mean, you can be mad if you want to at this lady from Germany saying that she really went after her man and her man really told her how his, how his thoughts of America was right. I don't, she didn't say that he hated black women or women from America. She just said that was his experience. So that's all I'm saying. But then you have these women on here when I'm about to play and she talks about, take a look. They, they should want to take you shopping, take you on a nice date, give you a little spending money, pay some of them bills. Okay. If they can't improve your life, why are they there? Why are they there? If they can't improve your life, why are they there? So over here is the same thing. It's very modern. It's very westernized. And the mindset of a lot of women is very similar to what you would experience in America, but it's not as severe. You know, you don't have women running around celebrating their body count. Urkish community. We and to be fair, when you're looking at social media, I mean, that's all you see nowadays. You do. all Most of the women, they, they are. A lot of them are half naked. I mean, let's be real. Okay? It ain't just coming from her. It's coming from a lot of men. It's coming from Monique was talking about even the way we were dressing and stuff. She was talking about how we're walking around with bonnets or we're walking around in airports looking crazy. And we wanted to jump Monique. I mean, who can tell the black woman something if you can't listen? To, I mean, who, who can? Your mama can't. Your sister can't. Who, who can tell you? I mean, and also think about this, right? I'm a black woman. I took no offense to what this woman said. This is her husband's experience. This was her experience when she came to the United States. Listen. We take pride in contributing to the household. Like you would never see us putting a man down, especially not publicly. We wouldn't do that. If there's any type of beef going on, it would be settled and handled within the four walls of our home. You know, and of course you have families where the woman make more money than the man and have her degree and maybe he doesn't. And all that is being left at the door the moment they come inside. So the respect is always towards the man of the household. Um, so, but I haven't really experienced that in America when I was there. It was him. I just knew exactly that's the man that I wanted. I didn't know what kind of car he drives. I didn't know what he does for work. Does he even work? I didn't care about any of that. I just saw the whole package and I was like, okay. And you see what she's saying? She's just basically explaining how she, how she came at him. She's saying when she seen him, she went after him. She didn't care about a lot of stuff that a lot of American women are caring about. That's all. She's explaining herself. Sometimes you don't have to like somebody to listen to them, okay? We got to get out of that. Hey, that's my guy right there. I knew right then and there. And I was 18 at the time, so I was in my prime, right? And uh, when I was in America, mm. I really wasn't aware of my looks. But the confirmation I got from all men just... It was crazy, but it, all of that didn't matter. So I was not trying to be in the streets or anything like that. So I got introduced to my husband and I just knew that I had to, you know, put all of my talents on display as far as being feminine and, you know, doing all of these things for him. Even if and think about it. She seen somebody she liked, she went after him. She knew she had to pull all the stops to get him. That's, that's all she's explaining. That's all. The age of 18, because I knew that's the guy that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I guess it worked. What I basically did, which a lot of women don't like also, I showed him around, I chauffeured him around. He didn't have to pay for anything. I made sure I showed him everything about my country, like all of the tourist attraction and all of that, introduced him to my family, try to make him as comfortable as possible because my goal was trying to bring that man over here because I wasn't ready to live in America, you know? So I was like, okay, I got to make sure I'm going to impress this man. And um, he loved it. He loved the experience. Had to obviously go back to America for a bit. And think about it. We're all in competition, ladies. doesn't matter if you're 18 up to 35. I mean, you are in competition. If you want somebody, you got to get out there and, and get that person. You can't be mad at this woman because she went out there and 
chose and that was determined. She was determined to get that man and she got him. I mean, I don't see what the problem is so far. Back before he actually came to Germany to live here. That's how he ended up in Germany. But they just don't like to see a man being treated well who's average. And I stand for, I don't expect my man to pay for anything. I don't expect him to pay for hundreds of dollars for our date. We've been married for 15 years. And, and you know, you know what's crazy is all I've been seeing is a lot of TikToks and a lot of different channels. And all the women was like, oh, she, uh, you just got him because you pay for everything. And I don't think that's what she was saying. She was just saying when she first met him, he came over there. She was saying that she was pulling out of her purse sometimes. That's all. We still haven't been on a date that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it just doesn't make any sense. So me sitting there and just doing all of these things for him, not expecting. And then they don't like to see that somebody outside of America treats an average black man good and talks about it and speaks about it. When I'm really just trying to, you know, set an example for how a woman can use her true femininity, you know, to be a better person herself and be better for the man that she's with. Or she it amazes me how the world revolves. Okay. So why are we mad at her again? Because I I don't see a reason to be mad at her. I think she's just telling her story. That's all. Better for the man that she's with. Or she it amazes me how the world revolves around the black woman. The disdain for black women. The bare tolerance of a black woman. Yet they want the ass like a black woman. The braids like a black woman. The attitude of a black woman. The essence of a black woman. I love how y'all think that dating a black man is taken away from us. We do not care. Honestly, may, look, we're- And last time I checked, we're made for billionaires. So may the odds be ever in your favor. Go off. We love that for you. Now, you know, this man that came out here and said that uh, billionaires like black women. What black women? You know, that's what a billionaire, that's your average black woman. I don't know any. I don't know any unless she's close to a billionaire herself. I don't know any. So I think sometimes as women, we run with things and- just because that man said that billionaires like black women, all you see on social media now is we're made for billionaires. And it's like, are we? I mean, come on now. You can't, you have to look at the facts, guys. Look at the women. Look at us. Women, one in four are getting married. You got more baby showers than you have weddings. Okay. I have no dog in this fight. But you got to be able to listen to some things, okay? This woman just explained how she got her van, all right? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Did, did you take offense to this as a black woman? And how how is my fellas doing? How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all think this was... How do y'all feel? How do you feel about American women? How do you feel? Do you think that they're unfair? Do you think they treat you great? I mean... What do, you, what do you think? And I don't think she was saying all black women. She was just saying her experience. That's all. People are allowed to tell their experience. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Let me know some stories. Let me know some situations that you've been in. I want to know.